So do you expect them to spend the night? Spend the night with That's your crib. No. Yes, that's what the question say. I don't even question <laughs> Absolutely <audience>. not. <laughs> to the show y'all tonight i got my homegirl renetta i said it right that time right yeah she did. Ah, see i got it right so we can keep rolling for the youtube edit um i don't think i've ever met you in person i thought i met you a long like a long 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 time ago because we have a, a mutual person that i'm not going to name that we actually know somebody you work with somebody that i work with now I don't know now. I don't know what you do now, but I know what you did back then with uh, Metro. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, I'm still with Transit. Still, oh, okay, still so working. yeah, we 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 do have a mutual person. We do know. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Just, you just had to. It just clicked a little. Maybe a little bit. Maybe not. Because it was a very long time ago. Oh, okay. I don't know. I had to try and figure it out. That's a little riddle for me to try and, try and come <laughs> up with. I had to go through our friends list and see. <laughs> okay. It's all good. So pre-show conversation, we discussed talking about situationships, friends with benefits. Are they the same? Are they different? Right? Mm -hmm. So, but before we jump into <laughs> all of that, I always like to ask, what's up with you? Shit, it's like now. Um, <laughs> can you um, clarify the question? Like, like if we was on the street, <laughs> I ran into you. I'm like, yo, what's up with you? You might be like, shit, I'm chilling. You might say shit. That's a good answer too. Probably, I probably said shit. It's like now, nah, I'm I'm chilling. All right, that's I'm cool. I'm chilling that's out cool. here in these streets. Well, let's get right <laughs> to it then. How do you define a situation ship? Um. Hmm. So, how I define a situation ship is a it's a relationship. It's a friendship. Okay. It's a it's a friendship, but it it's also you know physical. It's a physical friendship. Um, okay. Sexual. Um, I think it's more so more emotions into a situation ship, but even though it's emotions into it it's not um, clarified as we're together. Okay, so it, are you, you said there's more emotions. When you say more emotions, you mean there's more emotions in a situation as compared to a fully established relationship? No, no. I'm saying if we're comparing, you know, I, maybe if you're bringing it up later with the whole friends with benefits thing, mm -hmm. um, to compare it with that, it's more emotional versus friends with benefits. That's just my thoughts about it. Um, okay. It's more so like, oh yeah, we we're in a we're in a relationship, but you do what you do, I do what I do. When we're together, we're together. Okay. Um, and that's where the I guess the emotional part comes in because with friends with benefits, it's it's an arrangement, pretty much. So it's, it's almost like. The friends with benefits is like we have a hardcore understanding of what the parameters of Absolutely. this thing is. And a situationship is kind of gray and murky and you might break the rules. Yeah. We didn't really establish rules, so I, I don't know if you exactly. broke the rules, but my feelings are hurt because of right. what you did or your feelings are hurt exactly. because of what I did. Okay. Is that the only difference between the two or is there some other like hardcore differences between the two? I mean, that's just for me. That's how I what I take from it. Now, if general, you have a better okay, understanding, yeah, that's just that's just my understanding. If somebody can help me out a, a little bit better to break it down a little bit more, then that'll be great. But that's my understanding. See, I figured I always figured that the situationships are like you said, like they're the ones that are kind of murky. Like it feels like we're in a relationship, but we haven't established it. And then one person is kind of wondering where we stand, and the other may or may not know where we stand. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. And so, nobody wants to hurt anybody's feelings, so you don't talk about it. <laughs> right, right, right. So, 
so okay, so how do you establish that you're in a situation? Like, do, do do both people have to know they're in? No, entanglement is totally different. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> um, well, yeah, is it, like, is it possible for one person to be in a situation ship and the other person just be like, "Oh, nah, like, nah. yeah, I'm just here. Like, yeah. I'm just you giving it to me. I'm taking it." Type. It's like, uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it's based on the communication. Of course, communication is the biggest key in the situation, any type of situation. Mm -hmm. um, um, so if you're communicating with that person and if, they're, if, if you have a person that's actually mature mm -hmm. to have a conversation and be honest, um, and, and that's where the issue comes in at, men think they that women want to just hear things Actually, women want to hear the truth, regardless of if they can take it or not. They really do want to hear the truth. Now, it might hurt, mm -hmm. but we still want to hear the truth. So, it okay. is what it is. Okay. So, uh, I am De Chris, Chris, Christia. You know her? I am De Christia. Yes. I hope I'm saying your name right. She says you might be more likely to help your your situation shit with an emergency versus a friend with benefits. It's kind of cool that you that she that you said that because that's actually one of the questions that I was gonna ask later <laughs> on. Um, okay. I am Craig G said communication is the key. Miss Key and MD said yes, it's possible. Slay Couture by Jazz. Situation shit is like it's like let's act like we're in a relationship but do things people in relationships do but we're not in a relationship. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Who so, said it's not true? Not not that. Uh, I am Craig underscore. I am Craig underscore. G. He said. He said that's not true. I, I don't know. So, do emotions <laughs> have to be involved for it to be classified as a situation ship? Like, is that what? That's is that's that just like. For it? No, it doesn't have to be. But nine times out of ten, it's going to be because one, we're human. Mm -hmm. it, and it's not just females. Men get. In their feelings too. Oh, absolutely. they try to act like they're not in their feelings, but they get in their feelings too. I had a so, um, <laughs> so it's just it's based on a person, mm -hmm. and it's based on that communication. What what are we doing? Are, are we acting like we're in a relationship? Are we having moments? Is this a, you know? Is it oh when we're together we don't see anybody else in this room? This is mm -hmm. what it is. And then we go back home and we or go to wherever we going to. So you know. Okay. So Craig G said you don't want to hear the truth, you want to hear a lighter version of the truth, right? And so because I it was something that I wanted to hit on when you were saying that too, right? Uh -huh. Um some men I think some men think that women want to hear what they want to hear. I think other men know that women want the truth, right? I think that men sometimes I think what happens is is whether we know you want to hear the truth or not. Sometimes we want what we want. So it's whether, yeah, whether you want the truth course. or not, it, it, sometimes it becomes irrelevant. It's like, I'm you going to say what, what needs to be said with me. Whatever <laughs> I need to tell her to get what I want. <laughs> uh-huh. I so get it. I if definitely get it. Truth, if that's the truth, then we could probably have a nice flourishing situation. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it was a lie. You know, then, you know this situation should go, go by the roadside or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's funny. That's funny. Um... Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. So as far as situationships go and as far as you know, which uh do who gets who typically gets what they want out of it in the end? Is it the is it men, is it women, or is it no one? It's all based on what each person want wanted in to start. Um I can't really say I can't really say women do because Nine times out of ten, what do women want? They want the relationship. They want the actual relationship, right? I mean, and then, I, I would assume so, but I don't. I, I've been married for a long time, so I don't know. Right, right. Well, before the marriage, uh -huh. right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but men, like you just said, they say what they want to say to get what they want. Nine times out of ten, they want the sex. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It might be an equal, equal thing, but. Somebody's feelings are, eventually gets hurt. So I, I don't know. I can't really answer that question. I, 
once again, it's it's based on the relationship of the person, the, the communication part with the two people. Right, right. See, I, I tend to think that if I had to guess, I don't know. I tend to think that men end up getting what they want more out of it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just just because just because typically like if if as a man, when I see you, if I'm attracted to you, I I I'm interested in you because of your physical beauty through my eyes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if I get to engage with you sexually or, or intimacy wise, I got what I initially wanted. Now that could change later on if I catch feelings and I find out, you know, you got some other dude that I'm ranked a little lower than. I might be like, hold up, this mm-hmm. ain't cool. But typically in the beginning, I think men get what they want. And I, I, you know, I would assume that a lot of women are seeking relationships, but I don't know. No, it seems like the, the dating thing has changed in, you know, over time. Drastically. That's why I said I've been married. I've been married for going on seven years. We've been together for going on 17. So it's kind of, it's a little more difficult. Yeah, Let me so get in the, yeah, go ahead. You don't have them, them issues at all. So you good. No, I'm it's hard you. out here. It's, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's oh, hard what, out what, here. What, what, uh, what, uh, what Will Smith say in, uh, in Bad Boys? He said, you only got one woman to please. <laughs> so Miss Key and MD said, make my make male friend always say that women change the rules when you do a friends with benefits oh okay so women always change the rules when you do friends with benefits um would you say that your your mate fat or would you say you gained a little weight same thing but one is more acceptable it's all fun until it isn't someone's going to switch up and want more at some point that's facts mm-hmm. the longer you let the situation remain a situation and not yeah. blossom into a relationship Somebody is going to catch feelings. Yeah. Somebody said, happen. somebody said dating is trash. It's hard out here. It made me, it made me say it's hard, <laughs> it's hard out here for a pill. It is. It, it really is. So. so that answers my next question already. I, the next question that I had was, is it possible to be friends with benefits and not catch feelings? I don't think so. I think eventually over time, it's going to mm-hmm. happen. Especially if you're spending time with a person. Mm. So it, I think that's when the rules change because me personally, if, if it's just strictly friends with benefits, okay, you got what you want. I got what I wanted. That's part ways. It should be no spending time. It should be none of that. It should be, this is what we establish. And that's it. And that's all. Um, so it can be controlled, but mm. Nine times out of ten, I, I don't eventually it's gonna happen if the time comes in. Okay, okay. So that kind of makes another question pop in my head. Is it possible? Do you think it's possible for men and women to be generally just friends? Not without absolutely not with the benefits, but you think men and women can be friends? Absolutely. No, I have so I've male friends for years, years and never have done like that's crazy. Yeah. So you, you can so, be friends. So you know there's, there's this there's this ideology out there that men and women can't be friends. Any any guy that's your friend is 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 a guy who's really waiting for his opportunity to at least move on into the situation phase of y'all. I don't believe that. <laughs> I, I me personally, I don't believe that. Now, don't get it, don't get it twisted. I, I'm not going to say they never thought about it or visualized me in a different way, mm-hmm. but I don't think it was. It, it's a situation like, oh yeah, I think I want to be with her, or, or as far as like relationship wise, I think mm-hmm. I have some genuine friends that are males. So okay, so I mean, do you think how did how did they bec- how, how did y'all become friends? I don't know. I'm, I have a great personality, so. <laughs> well, no, I mean, um, I mean, yeah, but I'm saying, like, I mean, because, like, if the intent, if the original intent behind behind y'all's first encounter was them trying to holler at you, and then it ended up in friendship, then at some point they did have an interest in you. But you know, you go to school with people, you work with people, you grow up with people, and stuff like that. And those people are the ones who I'm like, yeah, like, if you know somebody for a long time, you're like, yeah, that's just that's just my friend. Right. You well, no, I I have had a I have a friend literally 
it when I met him, it was not him trying to talk to me. We literally mm -hmm. had we, it, nine times out of ten, it was at the bar. Um, mm -hmm. Heck, great conversation, and then that's just what it was. We would hang out. We would just always hang out, and that's it, and that's all. He go his way, I go my way. Like it wasn't more to it. It wasn't dinner dates, and it would literally be, oh, uh, we going to drink or go hang out at the bar, mm -hmm. and that's it. So, would y'all would y'all discuss like each other's? Uh, like, would you tell him about your relationships or your situationships, uh, and he tell yeah. you about his and stuff like that? And there was never any jealousy or anything like that or nothing to that effect. Not for my part. I don't think from his because if it was, I, I'm pretty sure it would have been stated. You think y'all close? Or it would have been some like hating that. going on. It would have been some hating going on. But no. No, okay. I think I, I, I think I might be foolish. I don't know. But I think you can be friends with the opposite sex without it being sexual. So. Yeah, I, I agree. Mamie said, right, no hanging out, or I was wondering if you would like to go. No extra time, more time, more tears. So she's saying that the longer you, the longer you go through this, this, this situation ship thing, the, the harder it's going to be at the, at the end of it, right? Mm -hmm. So, when we talk about friends with benefits, right, we all know what the main benefit is, right? What's the main benefit? I don't know. Sex. Uh, okay. We gotta go bullshit around. That's what the benefit <laughs> is. Only friends with benefits, right? <laughs> so, but my question is, and I ask this from a male perspective to a female, um, what other benefits do, do y'all as females expect from us in a friends with benefits type of relationship? <laughs> um. Like, are you? Like, I don't want to say my cars. I don't because I'm trying to see how I'm going to word car. this. Okay. <laughs> right. It's you more so know, like you got, you got tip to <laughs> <laughs> it's more so. Can I call you during an emergency? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm stuck somewhere. My car broke down. I should be able to call you for that emergency. Okay. Um. That's just an example. Um, we all know, like, I guess, I'm, I'm, and I'm not saying for, like, this is me. This is not me. I'm, I'm just giving examples. Maybe bills, because um, it is strictly a, a contract, a agreement. Okay, I do this, you do that. So, okay, I don't know. I me mean, for me it would be more so emergency wise. Others it might be bills or uh trips. Okay. Um just different things like that. <laughs> so do you expect them to spend the night? Spend the night with that's your crib. No. Yes, that's what the question say. I don't even <laughs> Absolutely <audience>. not. <laughs> so hold on. So you got a friend with benefits. Hold on. Let's let me extrapolate this, right? Let me break what, it down. Why would can I can I spend the night over their house? The question is, is do you expect him <laughs> to spend the night? No. Oh no, no, no. No. Why not? No, 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 no. I'm confusing that. Hold on. <laughs> let, let me let me go through this, right? <laughs> And may, maybe we I can mean, make it make sense. Okay. So, so, Help me make it make sense. So we have an intimate relationship. Your car breaks down. I'm supposed to come through. And I'm not saying this is for you, but just, you know, some right. different people, right? So if, you know, I might be supposed to help you pay your bills. I might be supposed to help you or take you on a trip or whatever the case may be. And I can't come crash at the crib? So okay, okay. So let me let me ask you this, and this is and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to flip it. Mm -hmm. The people that are in situations with friends with benefits, who are those? Who mainly are those type of people? I don't know. I don't know what you. Nine mean. times out of ten, those are people that's already in relationships. Is it? Um, nine times, I would think so, nine times out of ten. I, I don't know. I could be totally wrong. So nine times out of ten, if they are in relationships, they can't spend the night anyway. Okay. 
But if he so, wants to spend the night, would you? The question is really: Would do you expect him to spend? spend why? The night? He has no. To spend the night because, no. Because what I'm spending? The that's night time. That's the, the. That's what I'm talking about. That's time. That's time spent. Why? I don't need for what? Why? So th- so so hold on. This seems like this. Hold on. Let me let me jump in the comments. <laughs> like, my wife said I thought friends with benefits was just the only benefit was just that the only benefit and the expectation is sex. All the extra stuff creates time spent together and potential feelings. It's, right. You, you, I got one job. Okay, but, one right, job. but, okay, but <laughs> then that negates your first answer, though, because if the only expectation is sex and you break down on the side of the road, you got to call somebody else because that's not a benefit. So why do you have to spend the night for us to have sex? No. You don't have to spend the night for us to have sex. Like, we don't have to. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is this. I'm not I'm not talking about the spend the night aspect. I just accepted the fact that you're not going to let the guy <laughs> you who know comes out. We can have sex and you can leave. Change your tire. <laughs> But what if he? What if he just want to spend the night? What if he like you? Like y'all friends, right? You like hanging with your. So friends. why are we doing the friends with benefits thing then? We shouldn't be doing the friends with benefits. So so then we should just fall back into a situation ship. No, it's it's let's talk talk like grown ups and say, okay, what are we doing? Are we trying to move forward in our friendship? Are we trying to have a relationship? Like what's going on? What are we doing? See, I agree with Miss Key and MD. She said, if you're friends, then you should help your friend, and that's what I was thinking, like. If the basis of our <clears throat> relationship is friendship, like any of my friends, even just some acquaintances, I ain't even really got to like you. If you happen to call me and be like, yo, I'm in the ground, I'm stuck I'm on the side of the road. Can you come get me? I'm going to come get you regardless. But you didn't, that's not what we was talking about. We're, we're talking about friends with benefits, right? Right. right. We're so talking about more so on the sexual aspect of it or we, or maybe well, that's what I was asking. I took a whole different that's what I'm saying. Like, what other benefits are there, right? Like, from a, from a man to a woman, I asked you, from a man to a woman, what other benefits mm-hmm. are expected, right? And you were like, well, in my case, it's the emergency, right? <laughs> so I need you to be there. Uh-huh. The, benefit, the benefit that you expect to receive from being friends with benefits is that if I need you right. in case of an emergency, you can be there right. for me, right? right. So, and, and then one somebody in the audience was like, do you expect him to spend the night. Now, what I'm saying is if I'm the guy in the friends with benefits, the ben- the benefit to you is your car broke down. I'm going to come change the tire right. with your radiator. The benefit to me might be I'm about to stay at your crib. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> These questions, I'm sweating over here. These questions kind of hard. <laughs> All right, that's cool. We'll give you a little break. Let, let me go back. Hey, uh, BGD with 34, the topic is situationships and friends with benefits, we've moved into the friends with benefits aspect of the conversation where it's gotten real murky and we're trying to get our way out <laughs> of the floor. It's like, you, know, right. you, say you can't see the trees for the forest, can't see the forest for the trees. So we kind of <laughs> got lost lost in the sauce. Um, is there an expectation of a situation to stay the night or spend weekends together? Okay, so in a in a situation is there an expectation okay. for that person to spend the night or stay the weekends that's a great way of putting it that is a, a good um i think so because it's a situation it's yeah I, I think so because it's more so feelings when you have feelings with somebody you're going to want to spend as much time with them as possible okay so. okay so help me establish something because i kind of got confused here if we were doing like a ranking scale of relationships uh-huh. right, and, and marriage is like the, the top one, does uh, which do situationships rank higher than friends with benefits or is it the opposite way? I don't like, which, know. Which one, because... which one has the potential to become more of, a, of an establishment? I mean, I guess both of them, both of them, both of them, both of them do. Um, Equally? It's, I don't know because the only reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is I'm basing it off of my opinion and how I would be operating. Okay. Um, one of them would, if, if I had a choice, the friends with benefits would be no emotions whatsoever involved. There would be definitely rules to it. It would be no spending the night. It would not, it would be what it is. Friends with benefits. What do you need? 
what do I need? And this is what it is. Um, okay. Situationship. Um, it's more so you, like I said, it is a relationship, but it's not a relationship. It's, it's really, it is confusing because nobody wants to acknowledge or move forward and say, okay, let's be in a relationship because people don't want to have accountability. Mm -hmm. People don't want to get clocked. People don't, you know, they want to do what they want to do when they want to do it without any accountability. So <laughs> they don't want to feel like they have to be responsible of their partners. Um, it's just, it's, it's a lot. Okay. So, uh, friends with benefits is lower. So based on what you're saying, it's like, that's friends... my opinion. Now. My okay. opinion. I mean, that's all we can have. Right. This is opinion, right? other like, people going to think other ways. Okay. Mm -hmm. Situationships are fly by night as friends with benefits. There is a superficial commitment. So, Based on what we've kind of worked out here, and I, this might be one of the first times on my show where everything has been like super duper gray. Like we like, I don't know, you don't know. Like the the, the audience try, we try to. Like right. we don't know, we're confused. <laughs> That's the beauty of being, yo. This there's a solution to all of this. Go get married. It make your life so much easier. You gotta find the one though. Don't you don't want to catch a brick. So I think we've established that situationships rank higher than friends with benefits right okay based on everything that we just worked out there um <laughs> she said oh y'all lost oh great because we are too because i i don't know you know what I'm saying? Like, i don't know if but the, the christian them. said avoid both <laughs> yeah i know right that yes avoid both of them oh you and, and like mamie said avoid entanglement too because that makes shit not gray but black see i don't, wife, I don't know I nothing about that, that. Uh, yeah, I don't so, know. So that so so to, <laughs> so to go back to the question to make sure we got it. So if we're friends with benefits, there's a, a sexual benefit that we both get, and you get the benefit of me fixing your car on the side of 495, and I get the benefit <laughs> of not being able to sleep at your crib if I want to. But you're still getting what you want because it's not like we're not going to have too. sex. Okay, yeah. so you still get what you want, but you don't have to. You don't have to spend the night to do that. You don't have to spend the you night to, to, to get what you want. Oh, okay. It's not okay. Two benefits of my one, but you getting the same benefit. You getting the benefit. Like I ain't in here having sex with myself. <laughs> that's a whole nother topic. That's that's a, that's a whole nother yeah, discussion. That's, that's, see, yeah. <laughs> But it's all good because I think in society, you know what I'm saying, in society, certain double standards are okay and accepted, and that's just the way it are, way it is. I know I know we've moved into this area of society where people want to make it seem like men and women are the same, and we're not, you know what I'm saying? In certain situations, women get the double standard to their benefit, and in other situations, you know, they don't. But you're you getting what you want. No, not you're I, you're getting not, what you not, want. Not, not, how am I getting what I want if I want to come sleep at your crib and you say no? <laughs> if, you're, if, if your car breaks down on the side of the highway, right, and you call me okay. and you say, hey, my car broke down, I need you to come fix it, and I say no, are you getting what you want? No. Nah. No, because you're stuck on the side of the highway, so now you got to find somebody else or call a tow truck or whatever the case may be. Well, this is so, my thing. Mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Nah, go, go ahead. ahead. Nah, nah, this all you go ahead. So if you come and get me from the side of the road, you're taking me to my home. I'm allowing you in my home and I'm thanking you for picking me up. And that is that you know, you have an encounter with me sexually, and you you got what you wanted, and now it's time to go home. But did you want it too? What's the problem? The problem, the problem is, is just the, I said, the, yeah, yeah. Like you wanted it to I mean, right? yeah, no, it's just, uh, I guess. Like if, you don't want it, like if you don't want it, then just be like, nah, like I'm good. And then we cool. <laughs> well, the thing is, I'm going to be blown anyway because my car is on the side of the road or like the right. whole, just the whole situation. So I'm not going to be in the mood for that. But I'm going to take that, that L and be like, whatever, because I already know. Either I'm going to give him his money back or he trying to hit. So, come on, let's go. 
and yeah. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, is your car being on the side of the road and me needing to stay at your crib doesn't have to occur all on the same day. What I'm saying is, is... See, you didn't say that. You didn't say that earlier. No, I'm using those. Are, what I'm saying is, is those are two examples, right? Because there's one, there's uh -huh. one shared benefit that we share, right? That's the intimacy, the sexual aspect of it, right? Wow. And then there's another aspect that you may benefit, right? Because I may be good at fixing cars and you may not, mm -hmm. right? So the other benefit that you get from our friends with benefits relationship is that I fix your car, right? <laughs> That's a benefit to you because you, you're you not going to pay me more than you got to pay a mechanic, right? You're not going to come out your pocket for me to change the tire. You're going to change the tire. You're going to roll down the road, right? Mm. What I'm saying is, is if, if I, as the man, need the benefit of staying at your crib and I can't stay at your crib, then you're getting, a, you're getting a, an added benefit to this relationship that I don't get because you ain't coming to fix my car because you can't fix yours. <laughs> there, it might be something else you might need. You might need a, a good home cooked meal. I don't know. So I think so. That makes me think you just have an issue with people staying at your crib. Cause you, so you saying my benefit? <laughs> is it's not even that. Why would I? I mean, yeah. I'm my mm -mm, my situation. It. I don't need anybody staying in my in my house. It's right. That's not. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I say. I say your issue is with you. You don't have a problem giving other benefits what you're saying is, is that right. staying at the crib is absolutely off the table right if, if we're not in a relationship if you are not my partner mm -hmm. um no you're not staying at like no no why not well one i have three children okay and cool. i'm not gonna that's not the uh, role I need them seeing like any guys coming in and out of my home. I have two girls and one boy. Okay. So that's not what's going on. Um, two, I pay my own rent. Unless you helping me pay my rent, why do you need to stay at my house? Um, I mean, I might, just need, I might just need to stay for a night. <laughs> like if we friends with benefits like we don't live we already know we don't live together so it seems to me like you like you have an idea in your mind and i'm not saying this is right or wrong i'm just telling you kind of what it no is. Like i have, have some idea, more to say but i'm not going to say it on here because you're trying you, mm -hmm, you're reaching <laughs> no i'm not reaching i'm trying i'm genuinely trying to get a better understanding of the position because like if you're saying if you're saying to me that you simply like spending the night is completely out of the table off the table but me cooking dinner for you isn't, then it's like, cool, I understand what you're saying. That's a cutoff for you. That might not be a cutoff for all women. That's just your cutoff. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So so if a guy is friends with benefits, so what other benefits can a guy, <laughs> what other benefits can a friend with, friend with benefits get? I like mean, said, cooking? maybe cooking. Uh -huh. okay. cooking if if you need some things some errands done if you need me to pick up do some errands for you while you at work and you can't right. get them done I can help you with that um it, it's just all based on the situation <laughs> okay I mean I'm with you I was just trying to I was just trying to I was yeah. trying to make sure I understand the the basis <laughs> of the benefits right because yeah, I, think, I, I can't tell. I can't career, be like, right? yeah, all my benefits is this, that, and the other. I'm not doing that. So. <laughs> no, nah, I was just like I said. I was just trying to get an understanding. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if it's if it's expected for me to come help you with your car, I might want a meal. I might not be like, can you pick this dry cleaners up for me? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's all. Just try to get a better understanding. Let me ask you this: Do you feel <laughs> like there's a point or an age? limit where we are too old or up in age to be having friends with benefits and situationships and all of that? Um, not really. Cause not, I mean, a, a lot of times we doing it and don't even realize we doing it. We just not saying what it is, mm -hmm. but it's, it's still going mm -hmm. on. So, and that's at any age, that's older people. Oh, Uncle Johnny coming over tonight. Like, come on. It's the, like, <laughs> what? Okay. But 
we're doing it and we we're not saying that's what it is but it's getting done it's being done all the time at different age ranks <laughs> so okay. so age age isn't a factor no okay cool so let's move on to the dating aspect of it right um mm -hmm. not uncle johnny <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all show us some love in the chat and click the hearts and all of that good stuff. <laughs> um, I saw this clip with 50 Cent, right? And somebody was asking him who pays on the first date. So in your opinion, who should pay on the first date? <laughs> um, hmm. I, okay, so I'm going to let you on a secret. My experience... I I do depending on the situation. I will pay on the on the first date. Um, when you're on the date and you're talking to somebody, you're getting to know somebody, and they're sharing certain things with you. Just like how men do, they they do different things to pull you in. Mm -hmm. Same here. I'll pay on the first date because a lot of men are like, oh my god, she paid on the first date. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she's a keeper. Oh my god. I've yeah. never experienced this. Before. Oh my god! So that that kind of keeps them like not keeps them, but basically like oh, okay, yeah. I, I so then the next time the date happens, oh yeah, mm -hmm. okay, I got you. We then yeah, I'm gonna get everything on the um menu. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> hold on, hold like, on. Nah, I'm, hold I'm on. messing with you. Hold I'm messing on. with you. <laughs> So you telling me I'm messing with you. <laughs> I am messing with <laughs> <laughs> So like, now nah, I'm messing with you. But no, I have sometimes paid on the um first date and then or the guy has paid on the first date or we've done Dutch. Like it it's mm -hmm. it's just depending on the situation. But society is a man is supposed to pay on the first date. Okay. Society. Somebody in chat, and I'm gonna go back because I want to give them credit for her. <laughs> she said, "How do you say your name? I am the the Christia. The Christia. The Christia. Okay, the Christia. that's a beautiful that's a beautiful name. The Christia. I like that." Uh, she said, "Who asked for the date?" So I'm assuming that she's saying like or asking like whoever mm -hmm. asked or requested the date should be the one who pays. You think so? Yeah, that's Maybe probably that's pretty much what she's saying. Like, if the if the guy's like, "Oh, I want to take you out," so yeah, she's expecting him to pay. Versus if she says, "Oh, well, let's go hang out," or "I'm, you know, meet me here," then she'll pay for the date. Oh, okay, Miss Key and MD said a man, and I think somebody else said a man too. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, in my opinion, as a man, I I'd rather pay. You know oh saying? really? Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather pay. And I, I mean, you know, if 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 you know, if we discuss it before we get to the point where the check comes and she's like, you know, like I really would rather us split it or whatever. But <laughs> I, me personally, I'd rather pay. So, question: What if you go to the bathroom, you come back, and the bill's paid? Then the bill's paid. Like I'm not gonna cry over. So you're not gonna bills, feel a I'm certain gonna... way. Not, I mean, not in a negative sense, you know what I'm saying? I would be like, damn, like, you pay for this? You know, and if she's like, yeah, I pay for it. Um, but I think it also depends on, like you said, like, how did the date come about, right? Like, if she invited me out, and then I was like, I got to go to the restroom, when I come back, and she paid. I'm like, damn, you paid? Like, I was looking, for, I was looking forward to paying for it. She's like, nah, I asked you out. That's going to be a respect type of thing. And I would be like, you know, like, you didn't have to do that. You know, I feel like as a man, that's what I should do. But uh, it's cool. If it's something sneaky where she paid for it, I'm probably gonna be like, "Yo, she must like you got bread, you rich or something? You just drop it, you know." <laughs> <laughs> My wife said, "I'm gonna cash at you the money." Yeah, I might do that. I might hit you with cash. <laughs> that too. And then uh, the Christian said, "But would you actually let her split the check with you?" No. Well, I put it to you like this: there would be pushback. Now, I'm not someone who's necessarily going to spend ten minutes with you arguing over splitting no check, right? But I would be like, nah, like, we ain't split no check. Like, this was our, this was something we experienced together. And, of course, we could split it. But, you know, but no, like, I, I, I'm i good. I got you. It's cool. And it's not about, it wouldn't even be about whether, you know, or not she had more money than me or was worth more or anything like that. Like, nah, like, I'm just, I'm traditional, you know what I'm saying? 
I, I got you. Does it hurt a man's ego if she pays when he goes to the restroom? I don't, I could see, I could see how it would hurt cert, some men's egos. It wouldn't really? hurt my ego. Yeah, because as a man, as a man, you feel like it's certain things that like, that's your job, right? Like if you're, if, if we're in the car together, say we, say we riding and, and, and you driving and your tire blows out, right? You may know how to change a tire, but you ain't getting out and changing that tire, right? You sitting on the side of the road changing the tire and I'm being the lookout or something. Like, no, that's going to hurt my ego. I can't let that happen. So it's a similar, it, metaphorically, they're kind of similar. Like, I'm expecting to pay for this date. Now, if I don't for however it plays out, I don't necessarily think it would affect my ego, but I definitely can see how it would affect, you know, somebody else's. Uh... Walt Finley said, if you ask, if I ask you on pan, if you ask me, I'm going to offer. But if you if you pay, then more money on my pocket. But I'm going to take that mental note and keep it in the pocket. So would you give her the money? Somebody said, would you? Spoiled bitches 1135 said, would you give her the money back? I don't necessarily think I would give her the money back. I actually think that, to be honest, I actually think that would be a smooth move because it would make me be like, hold on, yo. Like, she paid for that joint. What's up with that? And I would be trying to figure it would intrigue me more than anything. I'm not that entrenched in my personal ego to be like, oh, I'm not a man because a girl paid for my woman paid for my dinner. Like, no. But I would be intrigued. Like, I wonder what her move is now. But now if that ever happened to me, I don't have to know. I'll know that when we go out in two weeks or a week from now, she's ordering everything on the menu because I just got put on to the real information. <laughs> No, 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 I'm just messing with you. I've had I've had that situation though, both both ends of the situation. I've had a guy, I've gone out with a guy and I paid and we didn't the date was so short, it wasn't the bill wasn't that much anyway. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just pay for the bill. And he almost tried to fight me. And I was really? just like, Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's so then I yeah, then on a the other end, it would um, you know, with a guy, I paid for the meal, and like you said, he was intrigued. He was like, "Oh wow!" Like, mm -hmm. like people be like, "Oh, I love her." <laughs> <laughs> I got to get her. I got to get her in this situation. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I've caught both ends of it. <laughs> my wife said, she said, well, I ain't paying. And my wife said she buy the groceries. That's right. So my wife handles the groceries in the house. And That's I tell you right. something kind of weird. Like, <laughs> you go in my fridge, I'd be like, it's weird to, in America, you're in the first world. Like, my problem is that I go in the fridge and there's so much stuff that I can't find the pepper jack cheese. <laughs> and I have to remind myself sometimes, like, those people are starving, bro. And you irritated because you can't find the cheese you want. You dig it through the, through the pepper jack, the cheddar. And oh, the my God. <laughs> All of that. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, another question for you, right? It plays into what we're talking about. Is chivalry dead? I don't think so. It's very limited. Okay. <laughs> it's limited out here, but it's it's not. No. Okay. So so you've heard people say that chivalry is dead though, right? Um, I have. I have. Okay, so if chivalry isn't dead, then why would why is there a, a group of people who tend to think and say that it is, or why is it limited? Uh, right? Well, the first one, why people think so, is all based on how you allow somebody to treat you. Mm -hmm. That that's all all it boils down to. If if I if we're walking to an establishment, I'm gonna stand there because you're gonna open the door for me. Well, I guess we just ain't going in. So, <laughs> you like, yeah, this is what we're doing. <laughs> so okay. that's just an example. But yeah, you, you, um, you have. I, I'm not going to say. Well, I mean, just like you demand respect, but you have to show or teach people how you want to be treated. Right. And and yeah. that's just what it is. Now, when I say about limited, um, it, 
it's a mess out here with guys. Like it, it's it's fucked up out here. Like, really? My... So so like, <laughs> <Sorry>. like... <laughs> <laughs> it's that bad though. It's that bad. It's real bad. So one of the other questions I had, which ties into this one, that I'm kind of just wondering: Do you think that chivalry is something that gets seen as simping now, and maybe that's why? It isn't as prevalent as it once was. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's um. One, I think it's not it's not taught in the homes mm. like it used to be. Mm. Um. You know. Um. It's too easy out here. So if it's too easy to get what you want. Why do I need to work for it? Right. It's like you getting treated like everybody else. So when a okay, so for instance, example, a guy gets this gets female A. Mm -hmm. She gonna give it mm -hmm. to him right right then and there, right away. Then you get the female B. You gotta do a little bit more. You gotta open doors. You gotta have a, a conversation. You gotta communicate. Um, <laughs> You um, you just have to have some type of manners and and act like you have some sense. Act like you know you've been out to a restaurant or it, it's it's a lot. So all they're going to do is go back to female A because they don't have to work as hard for what they want. So the so the women are part of the reason why chivalry is dead in the sense that they're not requiring chivalry of men. Right. Okay, my wife right. asked, do, do all women deserve chivalry? My response to do all women deserve <laughs> chivalry, right? Um, and I just thought of it, because I never thought about it that way. But um, I personally think all women deserve chivalry until proven otherwise. You know what I'm saying? I have I no problem with opening the door or pulling the chair or whatever the case may be until you prove up, prove otherwise. Now, once you prove otherwise, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be disrespectful to you. It just means we ain't really got shit to talk about. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a reason to really... <laughs> if you don't deserve my chivalry, then why would I even want to be around you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. Okay, cool. See, 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 we, we made it all the way through all the murkiness of the friends with benefits to come to an agreement on surgery. Right. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and I guess that answers my one of my next questions, too. I was going to ask, are women giving it up too soon? Do you think women giving it up too soon or too easily is what leads to the death of chivalry or, you know, the decline Absolutely. of chivalry? Yeah, that's what I think you were saying. Absolutely. Okay. Because what what do they need to do it for if they for what? Okay. It, it's no mm -hmm. it's no point. So Okay. Okay, cool. So how important is a man's income level in terms of dating? <laughs> um just have a job. Just Any just job? Have a job. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, just, <laughs> it's a legit question, right? Hold on, real no, quick. No, okay. real quick. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll give you a second, real quick. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share, tap the bell, all of that good stuff. Uh, if you're watching us live right now on Instagram, and you're one of these eleven people that's watching, and you don't follow her, follow her <laughs> at underscore e n v y ten ten. And if you're one of those 12 people now, you're not following me. Follow me. I am Chels X. And my YouTube page is Marcello Bradley. What's up with you? You can search that. It'll be the first thing that pops up. Um, a legit job. Not, I, I can't tell you, but what type, what I do type job. I don't understand that. The Christia, type that again for me. Um, so any job um, is fine? I mean, a job is very important. It's very important. Um, yeah. I agree. I'm going to say a legit job. Maybe if it was like 15 years ago, it would have been like, oh, I don't care what type of job he got. But now, <laughs> um, yeah, a legit job. I got it. So what she said, she said a legit job. Now that I can't tell you, 
what I do. Right. Now. So, 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 okay. So the class of not yeah, a Tommy I got, job. I, I think if she had to put the quotations, <laughs> I would have got it. I didn't realize right. she was saying it. Like, like, I can't tell you I got it. So, cause I was reading, I was sounding terrible. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, um, so, so the qualifier is this. He has to have a job. And that job has to be a job that he can tell you what that job is. Yeah. Please don't say <laughs> what I think you because I, I, I'm not, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> now, like, now, hold on. Hold on because I, I, I think you're about to go to a whole nother level nah, with I, I it. Go, I didn't even have a question in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Because I, I thought you was about to name some jobs and then be like, because I, nah, I don't nah, want to nah, be nah, that nah, person. Nah, oh, nah, okay. Nah, because I'm not going to do that because I'm not, I wouldn't start naming jobs because everybody starts somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And, right. and w n most of us aren't born with a silver spoon. So I'm not going to knock anybody right. for doing any job. I work jobs. You, you know, those, uh, you know, those really, really big dumpsters that you see, like somebody get, like they uh, renovate in the house, them big, mm -hmm. the big long joints. Like I've worked jobs where I've actually been inside of them joints. So, oh, okay. I, I mean, like down in them, you know, two, three days out the week because we got to get these car parts and do whatever. So I don't knock anybody for doing whatever got to be done to feed their family. So I wouldn't sit here and be like, oh, what about this job? What about that job? Nah, right. we ain't get ready to knock, well, no, I, get ready to knock my brothers. Right. No, I, um, I de definitely, it needs to be a legit job. Miss um, Key and then said, how about a career instead of a job? A career, I, I would assume a career is just even better. Like, oh, he got a career. I'm, uh, yeah, of course. Miss Key, Miss Key, and Andy said no. He needs to make at least eighty k if he's over fifty. Oh man, yeah, she's out of control. That's crazy. <laughs> huh? I think. I think the. Uh, I think the average. I think the average salary for a, a man or a black dude in America is like. Forty-five, fifty thousand. That see now we get into the Kevin Samuels territory. See, I ain't going and, down that road. No, 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 no. Man, retirement plan. You gotta have a four fifty-seven, four hundred one k. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> one more question, and then we're gonna get into your top five, right? Okay. I just did something that I just wanted because I know when I was younger, in my early twenties, we used to go to the club, and I always wondered. What do younger women think when they see the old guy in the club? <laughs> um, <laughs> y'all be laughing at me. <laughs> I mean, my first assumption would be like, "Oh, he must be somebody's sugar daddy," or he okay. he yeah, that would be my first assumption about him. Oh, he's um, a sponsor. I'm, that's that's so eloquent. Absolutely, a sponsor. And Mamie said, we thought, ew. And somebody said, BGD with 34 <laughs> said, lint noodle. Yo, man, they got medicine <laughs> out there now, so I don't know. Oh, my gosh, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Exactly. Cool. So, so so what I do is, at the, at, the, at the end of my interviews, I always have my guests give me five people dead or alive, real or fictional, that they would like to sit down and have a conversation with, right? So give me five people, dead or alive, real or fictional, that you would like to sit down and have it, like a one-on-one -on -one intimate conversation with. Hmm. I think the first the first person would be, hmm, would be my grandmother. Hmm. The second person would probably be my mother. Okay. Um, the third person would be, hmm, it would be Harriet Tubman. Ooh, I don't think, I think you're the first person to say her. What would you, what would you want to talk to Harriet Tubman about? I mean, what would you ask her? What would you I want would to talk definitely about? just want to be like, how does she even get the idea? What, what was going through her head? How long did it take? Mm -hmm. Just everything. Um, how she made her moves, right? So all of that. That's um, a good one. yeah, that was the third person. The fourth person would be. Let's see, who would be the third person? 
don't think I have it. You got a third one. You're looking for a fourth one. Fourth person. Yeah. Um, Somebody said Jesus. <laughs> hey. You get all that. Um, I don't think I would want to talk. No, because I think that would be deep. That would be a whole deep discussion. Yeah, that'd be a um, <laughs> um, I don't know. You ain't got no more. I don't know. If you don't have no more. That's cool. Those are three good ones. You know yeah, I don't. Mm-hmm. Probably, <laughs> um, probably, and actually get the truth out of the person. Probably, um, <laughs> my second baby daddy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, and <laughs> the fifth one <laughs> would be. I don't have a fifth one right now. I could think of. Fair enough. Fair enough. So look, uh, <laughs> the Christie has said Steve Jobs, um, T.O. <laughs> the, the trio said Jesus. Uh, the Christie, if you want to get on the show, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Follow me. I'll get you on here. You can get your top five. Don't give me your, guess top, what? your top five here. You know what I'm saying? Wait till we get on the live, and then you give me the top five. <laughs> you messing up my clothes. You and what's up? So, what's so crazy? That's my best friend. Oh yeah, she's gonna be on this joint in March. The Christian, <laughs> follow me. I'm gonna go through here. And make sure you follow me. Hey, thank you, Miss Key and MD. Y'all make sure y'all following me. Um, I appreciate you coming on my show. I got your phone number now. You got mine. So if you ever need anything, you can hit me up. You know what I'm saying? If you ever come back on, you wanna blow off some steam, talk about something else. Um, it's all good. Just hit me up and we can um set it up. Mamie, you already said you had your chance for your top five. You ain't say Ron out. Not cheap. <laughs> You try to jump in, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank you, and I appreciate you allowing me to be on here. And I Absolutely. thank every all the 13 people, <laughs> the viewers. <laughs> yeah, that's 13 now. Once I close it out, it'll tell me exactly how many people, you know, um, watch it. But oh, okay. also, also um, this will premiere February 12th, probably at 9, maybe 10 a.m. on YouTube. Marcello Bradley, what's up with you? Y'all go over there. Y'all subscribe to the channel. I'm building it up. We're getting better and better every day. We appreciate y'all. AJ, I'm about to jump on your joint right now. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We out. Peace. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.